Yellowstone National Park could be sitting on a time bomb. There is a super volcano underneath the national treasure. So a breakthrough discovery that could help geoscientists better predict an eruption and save lives. Yellowstone's geyser stir and the world's volcanoes answer back. August 2025 has proven once again that Earth is far from silent. Beneath our feet, unseen forces of magma, heat, and gas continue to shape the planet, making this month one of the most remarkable windows into our planet's dynamic nature. From the geyser basins of Yellowstone National Park to the fiery peaks of Hawaii, Italy, and Guatemala, scientists are tracking an orchestra of geothermal activity with both fascination and caution. Yellowstone National Park, the geysers speak, but the supervolcano sleeps. At Yellowstone, August began with new tremors in the hydrothermal system. Cameras stationed at Biscuit Basin captured rare hydrothermal explosions at the Black Diamond Pool on July 3rd and July 14th. And by Today August, the talk had not subsided. All of the activity in Upper Geyser Basin. But looks like the new... These events threw muddy water and steam high into the air, leaving behind darkened pools and mineral crust that whispered of energy deep underground. While dramatic... Scientists emphasize that these eruptions are not volcanic, but rather the result of superheated water flashing explosively into steam. Still, the sight of such activity fuels ongoing debates. Could these be small precursors hinting at pressures connected the Yellowstone supervolcano? The U.S. Geological Survey reassures the public all monitoring data GPS, seismicity, and gas release remains within normal background levels. A new multi-parameter monitoring station installed in late July at Biscuit Basin now allows scientists to listen more closely to the heartbeat of the caldera They've even cataloged the so-called Sasquatch events, small, irregular, hydrothermal blasts that seem to vanish as quickly as they arrive, captured only by sudden temperature spikes or fleeting webcam flashes. As August closes, Geyser watches the light in predictions. Grand Geyser, Daisy, Castle, and of course, Old. Faithful continue their steady eruptions, attracting crowds of visitors. The landscape is alive, but the magma chamber that powers Yellowstone's immense heat remains sealed beneath a 3.8K magma cap, a natural lid that slowly releases gas and prevents catastrophic pressure buildup. Yellowstone whispers in steam rather than roars in magma. Its geysers may shout, but the supervolcano remains asleep guarded by Earth's own geology. Hawaii, Kalawea's endless episodes. The 31st ends, the 32nd looms far across the Pacific. Hawaii's Kalawea volcano, sometimes mythologized. In local lore as the fiery spirit Glisteria has been staging one of its most spectacular shows. On August 23rd, 2025, at 2.52 a.m. HST. Episode 31 of the Halema Uma U Crater eruption ended after more than 12 straight hours of continuous lava fountaining. For much of the night, towering fountains of molten rock lit up the sky, sending lava. Rivers spilling across the crater floor.
But Kelia never rests for long. No sooner had episode 31 quieted than the volcano began to inflate again. Tilt meters detected the ground swelling at the summit evidence that new magma is forcing its way upward, charging the system for episode 32. Scientists believe the next outburst could begin in early September, though the pace of inflation might delay it. From helicopters, volcanologists have filmed glowing cracks and fuming vents, a reminder that this is not merely a spectacle but a live system shaping the Big Island's landscapes. For local communities, the eruptions bring both awe and risk. Roads and air quality must be monitored constantly, while cultural traditions honor the ancient forces at play. In Hawaii, the earth breathes in fiery rhythms, each eruption like a heartbeat, each pause of breath before the next surge of molten song Italy, Mount Etna's fiery encore. In Sicily, Mount Etna, Europe's tallest and most active volcano, has been restless throughout August. Between August 18th and 24th, observers recorded stromboian explosions, glowing arcs of lava, and ash emissions from multiple summit craters. On August 20th, Etna revealed new power. Two fresh vents cracked open. The first, at about 3,100 meters, sent lava streams down the volcano's western flank. The second, at 3,200 meters, bled molten rock down the south slope, creating branching lava rivers. By August 24th, the longest flow had traveled 880 meters. While incandescent fountains lit the night sky, Etna's eruptions had become almost episodic-like chapters in a never-ending saga. Aviation authorities briefly raised the alert level to red on August 26th as ash plumes threatened flight paths. For Sicilians, Etna is both a symbol of danger and resilience. Vineyards thrive in its volcanic soils, and locals have long adapted to its rhythms. Etna does not merely erupt it performs. Each fiery vent and plume of ash is a line in a story written for millennia, with Sicily as both stage and audience Guatemala, Fuego's relentless roar. On the other side of the globe, Vulcan D. Fuego, Guatemala's most active volcano, has kept its reputation as a constant threat. Through mid-August, the volcano averaged two to nine explosions per hour. Each blast sent incandescent fragments cascading down its steep slopes, while ash plumes rose up to 1.1 kilometers high, drifting 30 kilometers into the surrounding countryside. Communities nearby have endured ashfall several times this month, coating rooftops and farmland. On August 12th and 16th, Lahar's mud flows of ash, water, and volcanic debris swept through valleys, reminders of how quickly rain can transform eruptions into deadly it. torrents up by late August. Fuego's activity persisted ash advisories remained in place and schools in affected zones temporarily suspended classes. For Guatemala, Fuego's name, the Fire Volcano, feels less like a title and more like a warning lived daily. 
Fuego burns not in isolated bursts, but in steady defiance, its people forced to live at the edge of danger. Yet resilient in the shadow of fire, 